Hey everyone, so in the last couple of months, iCharger released a whole new line of more modern chargers. So I thought I would go and pick one up, at least one of the newer, more powerful ones. I got this to kind of go along with my 406 Duo iCharger. So this video is basically going to be an unboxing and uh, pretty much my review of this charger. Now I've been using this charger for about a about three weeks now, so I pretty much reboxed it exactly as I found it. So that's pretty much why it's it's still in its box. All right, so let's go on to the unboxing. I'll keep it short. Zoom out. All right, move more you. So obviously you get this is what you get when you buy it. I got this one for two forty nine. Now my Duo, uh, the 406 Duo cost, uh, I think it was $299, so basically $300 and this one was $250, so it's about $50 bucks cheaper. So when you open the box, pretty much what you get is some foam. You get a CD that I pretty much never use. This one came from Progressive RC, so they threw their sticker in there. Then you get the charger wrapped and you get nothing else all right just letting you know you don't get anything else so here's the charger take it out of the wrapping you have a little flip stand on the back and there it is so what i want to stress here is now that the unboxing is technically done there's really, you're probably not going to be able to use this charger if this is all you buy. You zoom out. I had to read up on this and realize what I was getting. And I want to stress in this video that you will have to go out and also buy this as well. So to power this thing, this is a DC charger, not an AC uh, DC charger. So the input is a XT90. It's, I guess you would call male because the actual pins are in there. And what you're gonna do, well, let me zoom in on that for you. And you're gonna get yourself a female XT90, just like so. Obviously to whatever bullets your power supply uses. Let's zoom out. So that's pretty much the unboxing and I guess a warning. So you need these two things to actually use the charger. Okay, so here is the review part of the video. Uh, Software-wise, this charger is almost exactly the same as my 406 Duo iCharger. Uh, the software, uh, there's really not much difference at all. It's almost exactly the same. Uh, one of the main differences is, is that uh, the Sys tab button is missing. So you just do a long press here. Uh, on the center button to get into the system parameters, but other than that the software is pretty much the same So really the main difference here is the physicality of this charger So let me just go over that real quick as I said before this seems to be like a more modern type design or at least modern thinking uh, It does it goes it does away with the bullet uh, plugs and everything like that. I feel like it might be uh, I guess you could say targeted towards airplane, helicopter, and FPV guys who commonly use batteries with uh, XD60 connectors on it. So one of the nice things about that is if you look right here, you can just plug your battery right into here and the balance right into there. And you don't have to have any kind of adapters or bullet adapters or anything like that. So let's just go over physically what it, what's on it real fast. So the, pretty much the setup is exactly the same. You get a screen, buttons are exactly the same, except you, now you have a flat roller with a center button. Uh, the screen is right there, if you can even see it. Um, on the front, once again, there's no bullet connectors. You have your balance port for channel one, balance port for channel two. You have two XT60 uh, connect, uh, I guess these are male for each channel. And then you have, I believe this is for a temp sensor. So if you wanna have a temp sensor on your battery while it's charging, monitoring the temperature of the battery. 
So pretty much, uh, yeah, so balance port, balance port, temp sensor, temp sensor, and two XD60s. There's nothing on the sides. Now on the back, there's only uh, one XD, XT90 connector right there. Once again, it's male, so you're gonna need a, I believe you would call it a female connector. That would go to bullets or whatever adapts to your power supply. So this is your input right here. You have a USB port right there. And this is USB-C, I believe. And then you would have uh, an SD card here to save your models, uh, not your models, your presets for all your batteries. Two fans that will run only when the, batter when the charger heats up. Uh, underneath you have a fairly flimsy uh, uh, basically it lets you prop up your, your charger a little bit. I've popped it off a few times already. It's pretty flimsy. So I actually went out and bought this. Uh, I got it on eBay. It's, if you can see that, it's RL Power. Got it on eBay. It looks like it's 3D printed. I think it was $19.99. So it props up the charger pretty nicely. And that's pretty much everything that's physically on the charger. I wish one thing I don't like is how small the screen is. If you have really small, if you have really bad eyes, it's going to be tough to see this screen. Um, it's a little smaller than my 406 Duo screen. I wish they would have like moved this button here down and this one down too, and then made the screen larger and a little wider, uh, and then maybe took this off and put it on the side. I'm not really sure why uh, they needed to make the screen so, so small. Let me get the stand out of the way. Let me power it up real quick, just so you can see it. That's what it looks like powered up. So it's the exact same type setup where you have like the two screens and you select be between the two. All right, so the next part is uh, charging specifications. Uh, I'm gonna read it right off the box. So it'll do nine to 49 volts. As you can see, I'm running it off a Milwaukee battery. Uh, that's 19.7 volts right now going into it, even though it's an 18 volt battery. Um, so yeah, so nine to 49 volts of input from your power supply. Uh, max charging power is 1100 watts per channel. And if I do my math correctly, that should be 30 amps into an eight cell battery. That's quite a bit. Um, so that's pretty good right there. Now I, it does say on the box 1600 watts, as you can see, but that's only when you link channel one and two together. Um, it does pretty much every battery chemistry known to man. Uh, it does obviously lithium polymer, lithium high voltage, uh, life or what is it? Lithium iron. Uh, it does nickel cadmium, nickel metal, and a few others that nobody really uses. So, oh, one other thing. Uh, one thing this does that my 406 i charger doesn't is it has a two amp balancing uh, current, uh, whereas my 406 only has a 1.2, I believe. So, and that's the balance port. So what that means is that while it's balancing, it's in the balance um, part of uh, charging your battery, which is usually at the very end, it should theoretically finish quicker um, because it's using two, it, it can go up to two amps instead of just uh, 1.2. So it does have that advantage. And lastly, so one of the biggest differences I've noticed is how did they get this so much smaller and so much lighter? And it seems like they did that by cutting its internal discharge power. So what that means is my 406 can discharge per channel 80 watts, whereas this one can only do 45. So it's, it's almost cut in half compared to um, my 406. And I think what they did was they got rid of a lot of the heat sinks and discharging uh, circuitry to make this much smaller. Now, one thing you can do is defer that discharging um, load to a channel. 
So what you can do is get a light bulb set up like this and you can actually plug it into one channel. Zoom out a little bit. You plug that into one channel and then you plug, you plug that into one channel and then you plug your battery into the other and then it uses that as your discharge load. All right, in the very last part of this, I'm just gonna show you some of the accessories I have for it. So uh, I got this charging adapter from eBay. Um, it comes without any connector on it. I soldered on a XT90 right there. So now I can actually run it, especially in demo mode, um, off a battery. If you have a large, lith if you have a large um, power tool battery, they can be pretty good. This one, it's not this one, but I have another one for my leaf blower, my Milwaukee leaf blower, and that's like, I think it's nine, uh, 9,000 milliamp hour. So I can actually charge batteries off that. And these are all smart batteries, so when they run out of power, they actually kill them. They turn themselves off before they become um, underpowered and they begin to damage themselves. So they're all, they all are smart batteries that protect themselves. So that's why I bought that. It's really just for the road. Uh, I can charge, especially smaller batteries. Now, if you're flying smaller helicopters or something, you have to get yourself adapters. So this is XT60 uh, female to a male XT30. Yeah, and you just, so you're gonna need adapters for that. And obviously, if you have other connectors like Dean's, you're gonna need adapters for that too. You can get yourself some of these balance boards if you want. Uh, the older iCharges used to come with them. Uh, this, like I said, came with nothing. You don't even get your uh, your uh, power source adapter. So yeah, you might want to get, if you want to get a stand, if you want to get um, a discharge load, if you want to get a balance uh, board because it makes it easier instead of trying to fumble underneath there, you have it right there. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I've had this for, you know, just a little while now and I've pretty much had good luck with it. I'm hoping it's gonna work out real well. It's probably gonna be my road charger because it's just so much smaller and lighter. And usually I don't, I don't really do a lot of discharging. All right, so thanks for watching, bye.